Mama told me, boy, you gon' be a star, yeah. I was born just to be the boss, yeah. Push the star, don't need key to car. Uh, I be kicking up, check my sneaker star. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy B Sneaks tapping in with y'all once again. Here in Texas, they have finally opened it up a little bit, so we are able to kind of leave the crib, go to a few different places. The mall is open now at a limited capacity, so I have been back in my champ sports now, and so I have been kind of trying to put time to the side so I can get these videos still up for y'all. And I have just been in my store a whole lot, so bear with me. I'm still trying to get these videos up every single week for y'all guys. And so that is what I decided to do with dropping this video. As we have seen going on about a year now, the Nike Dunk as well as SB Hype Train is kind of at an all-time high right now. Releases are getting a lot harder to get. People are reaching out, trying to get any Dunks, any SBs that they can. And so that is kind of why I decided to drop this video. Just kind of showing a very high release that we had that dropped last year at the very end of last year though around December but nonetheless a very hype release that a lot of people were going after and I myself was going after sadly didn't take a dub on Nike sneakers but was still able to grab them before we get straight into this video though to all my new people tapping in with the boy for the first time today like I said my name is B Sneaks I review shoes well as clothing on feeds styling videos all that good stuff if you like that kind of content then feel free to hit that subscribe down below hit that notification bell and go ahead and tap in with the boy I am dropping a lot of good stuff every single week so if you like that kind of stuff go ahead and subscribe to the boy but let's get straight into this b-roll I hope y'all enjoyed that B-roll of the off-white Nike Dunk Low in the University Gold colorway. These bad boys did drop on December 20th of last year. I just remember how much hype was surrounding this drop last year. It was insane even trying to cop these on Nike sneakers, which I did take an L. But either way, luckily I was able to find a guy selling these, and so I hopped on it immediately like a minute ago. But uh, these did drop alongside two other colorways. I am going to show y'all those right here. collaboration with off-white and Nike Dunk this was definitely one of those releases where you either loved it a lot or you hated it I myself I love this release but definitely I can definitely see why a lot of people would hate this release just because it's really just taking a classic model and then just adding a little bit of outrageous spins to it and a lot of people like Dunk heads or SB heads definitely some people really love this release and then a lot of them just really hated it just because like I said it's such a classic colorway as you saw from the two pictures I showed y'all previously basically Virgil Abloh threw his own little design spin on a very classic and timely pack that we got a long long time ago which was the be true to your school pack I even talked about it in that in one of my other past videos so basically in the two pictures I showed y'all before the red colorway is the UNLV colorway so it's got that red with that gray on the toe box and then the, the pine green and white colorway is basically kind of like a Michigan State colorway and then leading to this university gold colorway this is basically like a Michigan colorway this was just a really sick design and execution just because like I said Virgil always likes to throw very crazy executions on classic models and I just really like that it was really balanced with this one he really just just threw that outer lacing like hiking boot kind of lacing system on there with that infrared and then he kind of just of course threw that off-white tag on there like he's done on past ones 
but like I said, nonetheless, it was just nice how it was a very simple, but dope, abstract kind of design. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the in-depth review real quick of this before we throw these on feet and then style these out real quick. As we get straight into this in-depth review, it is gonna start with that university gold on this outer panel, followed by that navy on the Nike check as well as navy wrapping around the outer portion of the shoe. I did like this color blocking. I thought it was just really clean color blocking. And then we are gonna have that orange tab right here. Of course, Virgil has to throw his little spin in there when he can. So he just threw this random little orange tab. Doesn't even match the color of the infrared lace at all, but just a simple little orange tab right there. Of course, we have that OG white midsole like we get on all dunks that we've gotten in the past as well. And then leading on to the toe box, I did just want to shed some light on this, on this leather quality. This leather quality, when I take the insole out of it, man, this leather quality was just really, really nice. Very, very soft, plush leather as opposed to some of the other dunks that we've gotten, the new release dunks, they all kind of feel kind of plastic, but this one was just nice. That they gave us really, really soft and thin leather. You definitely, it definitely will age really nicely as we're wearing it, but just really, really soft plush leather. I was very happy that they gave us nice leather quality on this. And then as we lead on up, like as you can see throughout the shoe, we are gonna have that infrared, almost hiking boot like lace system going all the way around. I thought this was a really cool touch. And actually, as you lead on over here, it is actually gonna have the distinct off-white where they quotate, where they use the quotation on a word. So of course, shoelaces and then the quotations. Thought that was sick. They put that in that navy. And then the aglets are actually navy as well. It's not really much of an aglet. It's more of just the lace. They just kind of dipped it in that navy colorway. Still really, really sick. And then also, as you can see, we have the flat navy laces. They did throw shoelaces on these as well. Thought that was a very cool touch. And then another thing that we that they definitely did a nice touch of that we haven't seen with other dunks since of course it's an off-white dunk they are 170 so they did kind of give us a little bit of a premium touch the tongue is a nice leather a soft leather a lot of the other dunks are usually just a nylon tongue but this one they gave us a nice little leather and then they did give us a nice dope touch with the nike on here it's in that old school kind of font i thought this was a really sick touch to the shoe it's an old school nike font right here it really still like i said doesn't match this infrared lacing but it's still just a really cool dope touch and then of course like virgil always does on all of a lot of his off-white releases let me try to turn this over he just throws that off-white right there so we got it's if it can focus we're gonna have off-white co nike c 2017 zip tie sorry that it's struggling to focus but it's just going to be in that cream off-white color for this zip tie and then as we move on to the inner panel the mid panel they're basically just going to still have that university gold that og white in that og white midsole the lacing system i don't know if you saw on the outer portion but you can definitely see on this inner portion they're just going to have these nice little rivets in this really like plasticky kind of material and then they are gonna have fly wire that connect these hiking lacing system together so it's just gonna be fly wire um, attaching it together still sick nonetheless and then this is such an iconic thing that Virgil always does with a lot of off-white Nikes that he's dropped in the past he gives us that off-white in that Helvetica font and so it is just gonna have off-white for Nike Nike Dunk Low Beaverton Oregon USA established 1985 Virgil always does that in that Helvetica font I always thought that was a sick touch to all of the off-white Nikes that he dropped in the past and then as you lead to the back it's still gonna be that university gold with that navy on the heel and then the Nike right here on the top it is still gonna be in that kind of light it's like a it's pretty much the same kind of university gold and then you are gonna have that navy right here on the back this actually does lift up it really doesn't do anything or have any function it's just a cool little touch that they threw on there 
and then like I said, the University Gold still in that same leather. As we move to the outsole, it's just gonna be an all navy outsole. Simple, very clean, simple. And then as we look at this insole, this insole is very sick and a crazy touch that they threw in there. It's basically gonna have off-white on it. Going across with that Nike sign, I did get a 12, of course. And then another sick but hidden feature to this is they basically made the insole the same as the outsole so the insole is just going to be identical to the outsole of the shoe of course nobody's going to see this when you're wearing them but i just thought it was a really cool touch that they decided to throw in there here we have the box it's just in this all metallic silver very shiny and stuff has a bunch of holes all the way around it i thought that was pretty sick just kind of abstract since of course like i said this is a 170 dollars shoe this is a nice little metallic silver box as you get inside of it it's gonna have that off-white paper all on the inside just thought this was a pretty sick little touch to this shoe since it's just such an abstract shoe they decided to just go ahead and do that to the box as well just wanted to show you that but we are gonna go ahead and get straight into the on feet and styling Stay safe out here and be sneaks. I'm out of here.